get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Now I'm gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out. I want to sing and shout, take a look and see a beautiful morning. Been in here and people are roaring with laughter. So it's a dirty show, right? Really. Well, it's clean dirt. <laughs> you do have here the best Thank of the you. best. Yes. So we have many celebrities here. The Holly Madison come over here, and the Usher come over here many often, sure. and the Paris Hilton come here. Boy, I'm dating myself, but it's okay. <laughs> Nobody else will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Vegas. As a mother, you don't want to have to worry about this bill is coming, but then she needs this chemo. That's a decision you shouldn't have to make. At St. Jude, a family never sees a bill at all, not one bill. It's like the world has been lifted off of your shoulders. The treatment doesn't get any better than what you receive at St. Jude. It saved my life. It saved my daughter's life. It saved our family. Welcome to that So Vegas TV. I'm your host, Christina Keller, here in the fabulous Las Vegas Arts District near the fantastic downtown Las Vegas. And sitting here in the studio with me, bigger than life, big and bold, I love the colors you wore today, <laughs> is Mario Thank Rosales. You. Mario, say Hi. something so people get the, that big mellifluous voice of yours. Well, I was very young when I was born. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Obviously, Mario is a favorite of ours. You're the entertainer, you're impressionist, you're a singer, you're, you've got it all. Uh, but it didn't just all come to you like at birth when you were born. It did not. No. no I, I, I'm number 10 of 11 children. Whoa. Yeah. Mom started having babies in 1936, stopped <laughs> in 1959 when we bought a TV. And uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and a so very mu very musical family. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I love coming from a big family. Catholic uh, or Mormon? Catholic. Okay, because you have to be <laughs> yeah, one or the other to have that other. many kids. Although not so much nowadays. But you That's grew up true. in Southern Cali, is that right? I did in, in Los Angeles. Oh, nice. So uh, the perimeters of Hollywood, right? Of right. Hollywood. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. And your whole family was uh, uh, in the entertainment business. Well, everyone played music, mostly piano. Really? And uh, the babies of the family, me and my little sister Terry, uh -huh. uh, we, we were taught uh, piano and violin at the same time. So she was four, I was five when we started playing music. Boy, you were close together. It was like yeah. stepping oh, stones. Yeah. And Dad didn't oh, waste any well, time. Um, so the whole family was into entertainment, kind of like the Jackson 10. Yeah. <laughs> or 11. Or 11, yeah. Uh -huh. Were you performing or? Well, um, I mean, we all, I think my parents knew that there was talent at the older, from the older children. Mm -hmm. And by the time I came around, it was a foregone conclusion. There's talent in the family. You know, right. they're going to start learning this and that. Um, but the, our home was always, someone was always practicing. Piano, or in myself, I actually play five musical instruments. Whoa, really? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And ironically, in my shows, I'm just the singer. Right. So that didn't you? Did you have a big voice as a child? I ask you that because I my was, son had a big voice. Yeah, 17 years old. My father, oh, several years ago, found a cassette tape in uh -huh. a box in the garage. He said, "Put it in." He goes, oh my God, that's Mario and Terry rehearsing. Uh, Terry was, you know, a year and a half younger than me. I was 17, and he wrote me a note and said, listen to your voice. You sound just the same way. Wow. I was 17, my voice is this deep. Really? Yeah. But as a child, as a little one, was it that No, deep? I had a really high voice. Was, oh, you had the little uh, basic Yeah, little high, boy, yeah. yeah. Because it's a, a very distinctive voice. I mean, it you've got a lot of power there. I want the viewers to stay with us because when we come back after this uh, segment, you're going to sing us a song. I will. I promise oh, you. Oh, I can't wait. I just, you know, as we've met and I, you have a show coming up, you're going to be, tell the viewer, you're going to be at the Space. I'm going to be at the Space, uh -huh. which is on, uh, it's north of Tropicana. Right. On uh, Polaris and Cavaretta Court. Right. Mark Chinook's. Mark Chinook, yeah, yeah, from from the uh, Chinook. Sorry, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Not Chinook. You could be That's a salmon. A you never know. Uh, he is from salmon Canada, Janet you know. evening. 
<laughs> oh, we're off track here. Let's get back. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah. Um, the, in fact, I sang last night at the Monday's Dark uh -huh. event. That's an interesting. That, yeah. It used to be once a month. It's now twice a month. Oh, great. Right. And, oh, it's the, it's the best 20 bucks you'll spend in Las Vegas. Uh-huh. Uh, great entertainers and singers and, right. and uh, comedians. And uh, I, I, I performed about a mm, month and a half ago at, uh, at Monday's Dark mm -hmm. as a comedian and right. last night as a singer. So you wear all these hats. I do, which right. is really hard to find. I have a huge head. <laughs> but it isn't all ego because you're one of the nicest, no, warmest. it's a big cranium, yeah. yeah. It's just a cranium. It isn't the whole ego thing. Oh, oh believe okay. me. In my family, I was just another, oh, another talented. Oh, it's goodness. It's no big deal. Do any of your siblings or your parents, or do they perform um, professionally like My brother you is now retired, okay. but he is a concert pianist. My little sister, Terry, the baby of the family, is a singer and a pianist as well. So she's wow. uh, lives in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's her. She was retired from the Air Force. She was a singer for the Air Force band. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. So, but only three of us really that have uh, made a dime at it. I mean, uh -huh. I, I, that's my career. I started singing professionally at 48 years old. No kidding. So you just were playing musical instruments up until that point? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not your run-of-the-mill singer. Uh, and people think, oh, you're a bass singer. You know, quartet? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm the whole show. <laughs> The whole show, so yeah. it's a comedy. You also do impressions. I do. Right? I, I think do. of Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield is probably the uh, flagship of my 50-some-odd impressions that I do. Uh -huh. Because, well, first of all, it lends itself to comedy. He was a comedian. Right. He was my favorite comedian. So it's kind of a coincidence that I'm able to, uh, huh, I'll tell you, it's rough being me. <laughs> <laughs> I got no respect from the day I was born. You know, the doctors went to my parents and said, I'm sorry, we did everything we could, but he pulled through anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny how you just pull that out, and not even out of a hat because you're not wearing it. I'm one. not wearing it. You're pulling it out you of like that my big, wig, beautiful, by the way. Isn't that a good <laughs> your wig? cranium. That's no, the funny. hair looks great. Thank you. It's it goes downhill from here down. I've got a nice head of hair. <laughs> That's good. That must be genetic. <laughs> it is. the music. Oh, yeah. My dad's 89. I uh, still has And has a full head of hair. He's uh -huh. salt and pepper. Not really totally uh -huh. gray yet. He looks That'll handsome come. on men. I can't say as much as that about women. <laughs> so as a child, you just were playing the instruments, and then it wasn't until you hit puberty, I guess, that the voice took a turn. Yes. and I can't imagine you, though, with a little soprano no, I, I look like I'm on The Sopranos. You're talking to me. <laughs> I had a mole right over here. What happened to my mole? Whoa. Um, <laughs> the Robert De Niro. Yeah, well, totally. I got that. <laughs> the whole thing. Just like. Yeah. And how do you pick whom? Is it like you think, oh, I might look like this well, guy? Well, I, I remember I was like 12 years old, and to make my mother laugh was just a very difficult task. <laughs> uh, I think uh, I was 12. I thought, I'm going to be funny. I tried to be funny before that. My brother Henry was—he was already doing impressions. My dad did impressions, uh -huh. and my dad sold insurance, but on the—but he also gigged as a singer. Very nice. And yeah, so like on the weekends, and uh, so I'm like 12 years old. Mom's cooking in the kitchen because there's 11 kids. So oh, she's always cook. cooking. So I walk in there in my best 12-year-old John Wayne saying, "Well, excuse me, Mom, but what you cooking there? Because it smells mighty good to me." <laughs> and she would just shake her head. What's going to become of Mario? <laughs> I think it was probably that same year, and we we're watching. Um, uh, it was Christmas time. It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. Mm. I thought, okay, I'm going to give Mom my best Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> oh, 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 what you cooking there, Mom? And she's like, she starts laughing. I made Mom laugh. <laughs> so it was Jimmy Stewart. That it was did Jimmy it. Stewart that made her laugh. Uh, and uh, I kind of like your John Wayne. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, little lady. <laughs> I accidentally talk like John Wayne, but uh -huh. uh, I, one of my former wives, I have a lot of them, okay. <laughs> said, you always sound like John Wayne. Did she really? Uh, yeah, I, said, I was just pulling your leg there, but. No, I, it, it comes out accidentally. Okay. So what's for dinner? Well, whatever you want to make. <laughs> <laughs> that did sound like him. Don't even get me going. I have horrible accents. I have a horrible French and a horrible Australian accent. Really? Yes. We're going to take a little break because okay. I have to give a shout out to my sponsor. And we're going to set up so that you can sing us a <clears throat> deep song here when we come back. <laughs> but um, All right. looking forward to that. I do want to hear more about Branson. I've been dying to go there myself. 
Um, a quick shout out to the Red Roof Inn. They're on Paradise across from the Hard Rock. They're pet friendly. Everybody loves that. They offer free Wi-Fi and continental breakfast for guests, and they are close to the Strip and the airport. I'm Christina Keller. I'm here with Mario Rosales. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, hey there. Welcome to That's So Vegas. This is our new studio in the famous Las Vegas Arts District, downtown Las Vegas. We're here to rock your world. And I was going to ask you how it felt to be breaking good here at the Bellagio for the oh, National I Center. You did. Your last CD was My Secret Life. I wanted to ask you what your secrets were. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in and turn on with us in downtown Las Vegas. This is where the action is, and that's so Vegas. Welcome back to That's So Vegas. I'm your host, Christine McKellar, with Mario. Rosales, and I, I, I almost said Jimmy, uh, John, because you do so many oh, impressions. Oh, you said Jimmy Shore, <laughs> loves his side of me. John Wayne. Well, and so does the Duke John Wayne. <laughs> I love it when I, what I'll, I'll do is it, I mix it up. I have people like John Wayne doing Rodney Dangerfield jokes. Which, that, like, well, I'll tell you, I, my, I love my wife, but she can't cook at all. And well, at my house, we pray after we eat. Oh, uh, <laughs> Mario, that's really, you're just so multi-talented. <laughs> but obviously, we're standing here with this mic in front of us because you are going to grace us with a song here, right I'm here in the try. studio. Yeah, and the name I'm of it is? Uh, uh, it's called Your Man. It's a song uh -huh. by Josh Turner. Okay, great. Now, when I moved to Branson, Missouri, uh -huh. I sang, I did a Sinatra show oh. and a tribute to Rodney Dangerfield. Mm-hmm. However, five and a half years in Branson, Missouri, believe me, I learned to sing me some country music. <laughs> I think and I that. love singing country music. Well, the deep of you, know, we've talked about Jim Reeves. He was not right. country, yeah, no, but no. kind of. Well, he was country. Kind of country. Yeah, he yeah. was country. Yeah. Uh, B.J. Thomas, believe it or not. I uh, love him. Oh. Totally. Well, it's not bragging if I tell you that I, that I sang with B.J. Thomas. For my seat in the 18th row. Oh. Um, that's why it's not bragging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I did get pictures backstage after that, and, and mm. the restraining order actually expires next month. Oh, so that's I can... good. <laughs> no, he's a wonderful, yeah. He's from Oklahoma, and right. uh, what, he's, oh, gosh, 77, 78 now. Still has an amazing voice. Yes, he does. And Eyes of a New York Woman was one of my favorites. That was when I was growing up and younger. But we could go on and on about Roy Orbison and all of them. Uh, but we have you here in the studio. Yeah, I don't know B.J. Thomas today. Mario. That's okay. We got Mario so here today. I'm going to step aside. Can I sing you a song? Would you please? I absolutely I'll just love step to. aside and hand it over to you, sir. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs> Turn the lights down low And put some music on that's soft and slow Baby, we ain't got no place to go I hope you understand I've been thinking about this all day long Never felt a feeling quite this strong I can't believe how much it turns me on just to be your man There's no hurry Don't you worry We can take our time Come a little closer Let's go over What I have in mind Let me lock the door and turn the lights down low Put some music on the song and slow Baby, we ain't got no place to go I hope you understand I've been thinking about this all day long Never felt a feeling quite this strong I can't believe how much it turns me on Just to be your man 
during this instrumental part here, I'd like to talk about insurance for a minute. You know, Northwestern Mutual has protected your family for over one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Vegas. How about That's So Vegas, my favorite new show. I think so, it's wonderful. That's right, with Christina Keller. There you go. There ain't nobody ever love nobody the way that I love you. We're alone now, you don't know how long I wanted to. Lock the door and turn the lights down low. Put some music on the song to slow Baby, we ain't got no place to go I hope you understand I've been thinking about this all day long Never felt the feeling quite this strong I can't believe how much it turns me on Just to be your man I can't believe how much it turns me on Just to be your man Ah, uh, Josh Turner Young guy, look like, right, he's like that big, he's got a big voice <laughs> Wow, that was <laughs> wonderfully rendered. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. You know, I can see where um, you would do voiceovers. Like you mentioned, you were doing those back in Branson. And also, just um, t tell us a little bit about that kind of work. I actually started doing voiceover about 30 years ago. Ah. Um, uh, I still do voiceover for folks in, in Burbank, uh, mm -hmm. Studio City. Right. And I just in, in the old days, you had to be there in the studio. Right. But they've used me for so long. They just I, I record it. I email it to them. They email me money. Uh -huh. well, email you the money. <laughs> yeah. That's always good. But I always like that too. Like when they do the um, Disney movies, and certain stars are the voices of the characters. Right, You'd right. be a great. What character would you be? Do you think if somebody chose you? You know, for that? when I was an actor, I always played a bad guy, and that's mm -hmm. the antithesis of who I am. Right. I could I'm, a, for that. I'm a nice guy. Mm -hmm. I'm warm and fuzzy. My brother says Mario cries at supermarket grand openings. <laughs> kind of a sensitive guy. Aww. But but uh, you know, I did some B B films. Always the mafioso. Mm -hmm. The guy, okay, look, it's just business, all right? <laughs> little Johnny. Oops, little Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> He's already dead. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're not going to do much. Yeah, no <laughs> resurrection for that one. Uh, voiceover is great. Mm -hmm. uh, I do a lot of accents and dialects. Mm -hmm. uh, the History Channel, the folks there at Allenette Productions in Studio City, they, uh, do you do an Australian, you do a New Yorker. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. You're kidding, talking to me. Oh. Forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> The Australian guy who lived in Adelaide almost 18 years. It's great, mate. <laughs> but, uh, and of course, I grew up, when I was a teenager, it was like, bro, they're uh, pumping 18 feet over there, trestles, bro. Because I was like a surfer guy, so we talked like surfers back then. I'm so oh. embarrassed. <laughs> well, you should have nothing to It was a cool way to about. talk, you know, in Southern Right, California. yeah. But, and, and, and I do a winter tour uh -huh. in Texas, and I stay on South Padre Island oh. for he's about two and a half months on average. Uh, last winter I did 65 shows over the winter time. Holy cow. Yeah. Boy, that takes a lot of stamina. I mean, I would think, um, we talked a little bit too mm -hmm. about like when people talk about Vegas throat and you said even in Branson. It's called the Branson crud. Oh. And it shows up and there's nothing you can do about right, it. Right, and that's like from allergies or something like yeah. here. It's the dry weather, but I gotta give a quick shout out. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right, right back though with Mario and I do wanna give a shout out to my sponsor, the Red Roof Inn, because we love them. Because they like me. They keep me on the air. Yeah, and they put up with me. <laughs> yeah, you're our special guest. <laughs> Don't go away, we'll be right back with a man of many voices, Mario Rosales. Thank you. Back in a moment. Proceed. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. If you think about that, I mean, go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30%. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. We understand what makes this cancer tick. And of course, without donors from around the world, this just couldn't happen. And there's one thing we're focused on here at St. Jude, and that's beating this thing. Oh, 
Well, here we are, Christina Keller and Mario Rosales here in the studio in the Las Vegas Arts District. Isn't this wonderful to it be is. in the Las Vegas Arts District? Uh, it is. Who'd have thought? Seriously. I remember many years ago <laughs> when the downtown area was less than stellar. Correct. And uh, thankfully, the uh, the powers that be have spruced it up and trying to give you know give uh, the arts district name. Ab absolutely, Tony Shea, and I just adore our mayor Carolyn Goodman. She's been a guest on this show, oh, and great. Um, in part, I think to encourage the fact that we are here too. That I brought the studio here to help with the growth. This whole. Uh, Strip mall of this area that I'm in, mm -hmm. I, from what I understand, the developer wants to turn it into some type of a more like a boutique area, but that's a little bit down the road. In the meantime, I'm here and I have fabulous guests like you, so hello. Oh, <laughs> lucky is, you. This is where it is at. <laughs> we were talking right before the break, though, about you doing the voiceovers and everything, and you got to hear mm -hmm. that fabulous Aussie accent, which I just love. I've been <laughs> to Australia, and you also, uh, boy, you've got a whole repertoire there. Um, I, I do a lot of, uh, I've been hired to do accents and dialects for voiceover work. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much the impressions that I do, but they're, they're fun to do. And of course, as a stand up comic, uh -huh. uh, you know, something like you know, doing Rodney Dangerfield jokes as other people. Yeah, like, like you like did Rock, the Wayne. Yeah, like with, John Wayne. Right, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, my wife can't cook at all, Pilgrim. Well, <laughs> in my house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> I love when you do stuff and like that. That's Rocky Balboa, like... I don't know why she can't cook. I don't have my house, yo. I mean, she gave the food to the dog, you send it back. <laughs> <laughs> got the only dog in the neighborhood that begs for Alka Seltzer. <laughs> so, do you write your own material? Is a lot of it, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I mean, I do borrow a few Rodney's when I do the Rodney Dangerfield tribute, uh, his familiar old jokes that people want to hear. Yeah, because he was such an icon. I mean, that, oh, he was. that word's overused, but really, you have to apply that to him. Sure. And your uh, schedule this the rest of the summer now. Again, you're at the space, so we, we want viewers to right. be able to come now see that's you. Now, August 4th. Right. And that is the same place where the Monday's Dark events are held. And you do your own little, what is it, Mario show? The, my, you... It's called the Club Mario show. Club Mario show. And I, called, I, I, I opened that show in Branson, Missouri in 2011. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's, uh, in, in Branson it was like, because there are very few crooners in Branson. I was voted Branson's best crooner. The other two guys, <laughs> they, they didn't show up that day. <laughs> That's um, but, yeah. uh, doing a Sinatra uh, standards, you know, oh. Tony Bennett, Michael Buble kind of thing, and then mm -hmm. a tribute to Rodney. Uh, but there I also learned uh, that if I want to eat, I'm going to sing some country music too. So <laughs> Yeah, you were saying that, yes. It's yeah. true, and I love singing country music. Uh -huh. The song I just sang was a country song by right. Josh Turner. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, I try to infuse in my shows very different different kinds of music mm -hmm. from standards to Neil Diamond to uh, country and Nat King Cole, little Andrea Bocelli. Oh my uh, goodness, even though, because your voice is so big and deep, it's, uh, you bring a nice resonance, I would think, to these songs that, uh, from the different artists. Because some of them are tenors, right? Oh yeah, oh you know, absolutely, so yeah, yeah. You can't hit the higher notes? Or I, can, I can hit some high notes oh, when my voice is healthy. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you've been traveling too, didn't you just get back from Southern Cali? I did. And uh, look at Vegas, I mean, not to time stamp date this episode, but we've got some pretty heavy rain coming into the valley. I know, what's up it's, with that? It's a monsoon season. Yeah, it's all, monsoon. Yeah. You know, natives and residents, we look forward to that. Yeah. You get some rain and some clouds. And, and it's and not it's, as hot. And, and it's, it's humid. It's, and your voice too, you you know, a lot of people, uh, a lot of entertainers come here and they do get that dry Vegas desert. That's true. And you were it's a good thing for your voice. Uh, and I actually, I, I use a humidifier at home, try to keep mm -hmm. my, my vocal cords um, uh, nice and moist. Yeah, they have to be moist. I'm yeah. not a singer, so I wouldn't know. I mean, it's not like anything I have to practice. <laughs> Give me a little port and brandy. That's what I understand is really good for the vocal yeah. cords. I well, learned that on a cruise ship, actually. I uh, really, uh -huh. yeah. Doing the I, author thing, I lost my voice just talking. Well, talking that that takes a lot of you as well. You have to be singing and talking. Yeah, talking is yeah. different though. The singing comes from down here, doesn't it? Oh, it does. I will find myself sometimes in a show towards the end, and I'm feeling like I've done a thousand sit-ups. It hurts because I'm always contracting, singing from the diaphragm, uh -huh. and I don't. I do it without thinking. Right. It's just natural. Right. And I go, wow. My abs are hurting. 
<laughs> well, I wish you had less fat there. I could see them. <laughs> that's okay, though. There's no six-pack there. That's a keg. <laughs> yeah, that's a keg, but, but look what comes out of it. I mean, truly, your voice is just a, it's just a, a gift. It's You're too just kind. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you for being on the show. We were really happy to have you here and glad that you graced us with a song. It was just incredible. It was, I like when you said that Josh is a little guy with a big voice. Yeah. But a big guy with a little voice, now that would no, be no, so. No, it's not me. You're just perfect <laughs> the way you are, really. So I look forward to seeing you at the space. August 4th, uh -huh. uh, it's a Friday night. You have all your upcoming dates, even, even in Branson, on your website. Uh, I do. It's uh, www.mariosshowbiz.com. Fabulous. And I'm sure that scrolled at the bottom of the screen. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Time to sign off again. I've had another wonderful, wonderful episode with Thank you. Thank you, you for so much here, for having Mario. me on your show, Christine. A pleasure. I'll be seeing you around town. I hope so. You know, my guest next week is somebody you might want to catch at the TROP. He's a magician from... Luxembourg, which I've been to Luxembourg. I've been I, too. The smallest little country. It's so to. tiny, the mice are hunchback there. <laughs> Next to okay. Estonia. You've but been you, to yeah, Pont yes, Neuf, which is the famous bridge they have oh, there. Oh, beautiful. Of course, it's been a while there in 1979. I yeah, I was, was back there in the day too, but uh, David um, Goldrake, he's a magician now at the Trop, and he's from there, so we're going to have a little fun with him. Great. A little tiny bit. No. <laughs> he's got a great show. It's uh I really enjoyed it. There's an old word magic to it. But that he's next week. You're this week again. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Have a great week and break a leg at the space. Thank you. <laughs> Till next week, I'm Christine McKellar with That's So Vegas. I'm Christine McKellar with this week's latest entertainment Vegas updates. Grammy Award-winning singer, songwriter, and producer Richard Marks will perform his greatest hits during a limited engagement, Satisfied Only to Hits, at the Flamingo, August 15th through September 2nd at 7.30 p.m. Marks says his Las Vegas shows will be intimate with just him, his guitar, and a piano. Tickets start at $59. Motley Brews, the creators of the Great Vegas Beer Festival, will present the inaugural Hopped Taco Throwdown. It's a taco competition and craft beer tasting by local and regional breweries being held in the backyard at Zappos downtown from 8 to 11 p.m. on Saturday, August 12th. Chefs representing some of Las Vegas' top restaurants will vie for top taco honors with their innovative creations. This boutique event will be limited to 1,200 attendees. Tickets are $50 and VIP tickets are $70. On Tuesday, July 25th, one lucky customer visiting Coney Island at the D downtown was celebrated for purchasing the 1 millionth signature Coney dog there. That person received a year of free Coney dogs to commemorate the milestone. Los Angeles Quartet Ambrosia will be headlining the Golden Nuggets 52 Fridays concert series on July 28th at 8 p.m. The group was discovered in 1971 by Los Angeles Philharmonic conductor Zubin Mehta, who featured Ambrosia as part of an all-American dream concert. Their first record, Ambrosia, was released as far back as 1975. Can you believe that? For more concerts, dining, and special events information, please visit www.vegasonlyentertainment.com because that's so Vegas. Until next week, I'm Christina Keller with your latest Vegas updates. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again.